Hey, this is Jim Crean from the Scream Taker Band, and you're listening to the Brutally Delicious Okay. Well, first of all, the oh. track sounds fucking killer. I was just listening to uh, mm. Stone Cold, and uh, the thing that struck me right out of the gate is that it doesn't sound old, but it has elements of the past. Does that make sense? It's so, it's so funny you said that because our producer, Artie Dillon, said the same thing to me as we listened back to the whole record. He said the same exact thing. He said, it's old, like the songs are written as old, like an old Black Sabbath type thing, but it's got a modern sound to it, like sound are all modern so that's yeah. kind of cool that's a big compliment because that's kind of what we were going for so. like i listened to it and i was like because like when before i read the the sheet on what we're doing here i was like i'm just going to click the link and listen uh, i like how it's just it's kind of raw and it's got this old feeling but it's modern and then I looked at who was in the band, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> right. It's like, what's yeah. happening here? Just you a know? few players. Yeah. Personally. And then I... Yeah. Yeah, just just, just maybe three. <laughs> but um, <laughs> maybe four. Um, if I was invited, but I'm not. <laughs> but it, it sounds killer. Like, um, I, I liked it, Bruce. No, I loved it. I, and I think it harkens back to that older style, but maybe because of, you know, you guys have that sort of, I guess, pedigree, right? To come along with you. It's kind of in your genes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, when we had no intention of writing it like that, it just kind of, as we were recording our parts, it just kind of just all happened. And the next thing you know, we, we have, uh, we, we created, uh, the, the mob rules and, 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 and rainbow and a dark stepchild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you hit it right on the head. I think that's that's what happened, right? And uh, I mean, I guess you can't change your DNA, right? I mean, that's where you where you come from, and you know, fans like me appreciate it. That's what I grew up on as well. So it's really, really nice to see that. Cool. I mean, it was no intention. Like we didn't go, hey, we're gonna make a sound album that sounds like a Dio album or a Black Sabbath with Dio album. We didn't. Right. We didn't do that. We just just were ourselves, and um, you know, Vinny just the way he plays is just unbelievable. And um, it was just one of those things where we just, before you know it, we're listening back on, holy cow. And then once we took it to our producer, he's the one that actually brought, brought that to my, that, that line to my attention. Artie Dillon, he said, uh, he goes, man, this is something like if, if, if Ronnie would have stayed in Black Sabbath and not did Ray, you know, Dio, uh, the Holy Diver album, um, this is what would have happened. Right here. This is what would have happened in between that. And I'm like, wow, I guess you're right. How did that make you feel? Cool. I mean, that? you know, listen, Ronnie James Dio, one of the best singers in the world, yes. you know, of all time. And, uh, and you know, you're going to get that when Vinny plays because that's just Vinny's sound and his style. You know, he can't, he can't change it. You know, Vinny could go play Barry Manilow's song. Well, you know what it sounds like a, a Black Pebble song because he just do what he plays. <laughs> Right now, now you yeah, want right, me, right. now I want right. to hear that. But, and then uh, you know, it's just and then in, in our guitar player stuff, uh, Han, he, uh, you know, he's he's been around a long time too. Like you said, the three of us are pretty seasoned guys, and um, you know, he worked with uh, Paul Diano from Iron Maiden, right. so he's got that heavier sound to his side to him. And uh, before you know, it, we just had a really cool, cool sounding record. And, I, you know, I can't get this image no out of my head. Of really, the Copacabana in the dark. <laughs> right <laughs> at the Copa, that's awesome. boom, <laughs> right? So, obviously, you guys have known each other for a long, long time. So, how does this start? Does this start with text messages or where do you go for beers? How did this all kind of begin? And me and Vinny have been playing together for ever 12 years. Maybe I play, I'm, I'm a singer and him and Carmine, his brother Carmine's um, touring band and, and recording band. We've made a couple of records together um, with that band. 
uh, called the Peace Brothers or Apathy Brothers, whichever, whoever you're talking to. <laughs> and Vinny, it's the Apathy Brothers. <laughs> Carmen is the Peace Brothers. If you're talking to me, it's APPIC. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble by either of them. So, you know, it's one of those things where we just, uh, I talk to Vinny, you know, weekly, we talk anyways. And Steph and I started, my last record I did um, called The London Fog. Uh, you can look that one up. There's a lot of big name guest players on that record. And Vinny was on it. Of course, so was Carmine, Rudy Sarjo. I mean, the list, long list. So we did uh, a song called Scream Day on that album dedicated to Ronnie. I was clever with all the deal. I mean, I know it's all been done a million times, but I just felt that we wanted to do that. Um, so we did all the deal lyrics and titles and kind of made it and morphed into a song called Scream Day. And it was real heavy and just really cool tune. So when we were, the COVID hit, so COVID hit and me and Steph were starting to write songs for going to be a Jim Green record. And uh, he was sending me demos and we really had nothing else to do. We just had tons of time on it. Right. And um, so COVID hit and we just started to uh, demo songs out and geez, it just started sounding like Black Sabbath songs. You know, I, he would send me music and it was, it was dark and heavy. And then I started singing over it and it just naturally started happening. I said, I called or I, Steph and cause he's in France. And I said, um, why don't we, I'll get Vinny to play on these songs cause that'd be a great idea. Oh, I sent him a Vinny. Vinny fell in love with the song. Said, "Oh my God, this is right up my alley. You know, this is really, everything I like to play." Right, and that's really how it happened. And then before you know it, we just started writing songs, the three of us together, just sending back and forth files. And before you knew it, we had just twelve songs done, and we were like, Dude, "We got this killer album. Now what do we do with it?" Right, you know. And so um, we started shopping. I contacted our, our manager from the Peace Brothers, and I said, "I got this great heavy album." And I want it to be heard, and I want it out there. What? What? Let's get it out there because you know, we were with SPV Steam Hammer with the Peace Brothers. I said, "Shop it to them, see if they would love it." It's right up their warehouse. And uh, he goes, "I got somebody else in mind, uh, Deco Records." So we chopped it over to him, and Charlie over at Deco fell in love with it. And uh, before you knew it, we've had a deal in place, and now we're here. Nice. Did you did you re-record the songs after getting the deal, or did you just use what you guys recorded yourself? Well, they were just demos when we sent them. They weren't, you know, they weren't produced and they weren't mixed and mastered. Um, just demos, raw. They yeah. loved them, you know. So, and then once I got Artie Dillon, who also plays with me in the uh, Peace Brothers, he's a guitar player for the Peace Brothers. Um, he produced um, while we were in quarantine. We did a song called Monsters and Hero that uh, was on the uh, Sinister album, the Peace Sinister album. And we did it like a quarantine version of it. You can see it on YouTube. It's pretty cool. We did all the money that we made off that, which was a lot. We sent to um, the Ronnie James Dio stand-up and out. Oh, nice. Song for, we gave it all to Wendy. Yeah. So we gave her the song, too, and um, which was really cool. And she, when it was on Ronnie's birthday, it was like one of his birthdays were right during COVID. They did a big thing and and they played our video and all that stuff. So he produced already produced that song for us and it came out amazing. And I said, "Man, you're going to produce my next record." And that was it. I can someday I'll have a next record, obviously. And this became the next record. <laughs> I started sending him the demos, and that's when he came up with that. Oh my god, this is like a going to be fun, you know? And I said, "Have a go with it. Do whatever you want. Do it. You know, these are raw tracks. You do what you want." And uh, he got that sound. Nice. He really did. He I know it's sort of like a concept uh, the, the, record. Sorry. It's like a concept record. Whose idea was the the theme of it? It's uh what King of the Vampires, I guess, is uh loosely based. And how does that how did that come about? Good question. Um really that song, Stone Cold, um uh it was just I, I was watching it on some one of the vampire movies and I was just watching it because we like I said we had tons of time on our hand during COVID. So I was watching a vampire movie and I go, that'd be cool to write this song about it because it's so dark and spooky and, and creepy. And that's really how I started writing it about that. I watched a movie on that. And um, and that's really what, that's really kind of old concept from that movie, but in my own words and twisted words. And it came out really cool. So then we did a video for it. And um, Robbie Tatak from the Hood House, a friend of mine, um, funded it, funded the video for us for this thing he does called Music is Arts. Uh, festival he does his, i think he's going on his 25th year and um so he contacted 
me because we played it that year and said, if I'll do a video for you guys, I wanted a well, band to, to showcase the video. So, so then I said, okay, we got to come up with some kind of idea for the video. And that's how we wrote, did the video for at Stone Cold. Pretty cool. I have my fiance, Colleen. She's like, plays the vampire queen. And I got a buddy of mine. Yeah. I got a buddy of mine, Al Baker, who played like a zombie guy. He does a zombie thing for charity. And, um, Zombie thing Lumbo for charity. actually, uh, produced the video. Yeah. It's pretty cool. He does like these zombie things. Not to get too into it, but he does like, just as him and his buddies to dress up like zombies and they're really good at it. And they like go to like concerts and, like scare people and they like go to haunted houses and stuff and people donate and they take all the money and give it to charity. Nice. So it's, he's been doing that for years. So I got him involved. And before you knew it, you know, I had Joe Plumbo uh, do the video for it and it became something cool. I asked Vinny to record his stuff and Steph recorded his stuff. And it, the video is kind of neat. It's like a, like an epic movie, almost like a mini movie. So if you get a chance, check that out on, on YouTube or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's how that song came. But the whole album kind of became like that. Like we had a song called Curse of the Werewolf. Another thing I was just kind of wrote, wrote a song about a werewolf. And it's just some really cool, different type of songs that you wouldn't normally write about. And like no sappy love song. You know what I mean? <laughs> we didn't want to do that. We wanted this to theme, make it just cool. Are you going to take this theme to the live setting too? Like stage props and that sort of thing? Or is that just too far? No, because I mean, yeah, but that's good. You know what? That's a great idea. I never thought of that. <laughs> ah, Ten percent. Your idea. <laughs> there you go. Um, we're just yeah, exactly. We're just looking to get out and just play. I mean, that's what we want to do. We've got a couple offers in, in Brazil already. That's going to happen in South America. We got um, obviously here in the states. So we really didn't. I, I don't think we've gotten as far as thinking of how what our stage props going to be like. Because I mean, nowadays you don't. Nobody does that anymore. It's hard to do that. Right. And um, but I like your idea. I might, I might steal your idea, actually. It's all yours. I sense, so, I sense ketchup. So, I sense ketchup. Ketchup packages under fake so skin. Chris, on the neck, I need you. Know? you Chris, I need you to delete that part where he said <laughs> the idea of it, and then edit, edit my part where I say, Bruce, I got a great idea for a tour. We're going to use these as props, <laughs> and have have Bruce nod. Yes, it's a great idea. <laughs> Bruce, give me a nod so I can edit it in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, off topic question, but I can never take my eyes off a of platinum record. What record well, is that? The gold record, actually. Gold record. Yeah. It's one of my records that we did um, years and many years ago. Uh, it's my insatiable record, which is uh, the one platinum or gold. I mean, well, that you know, in Europe and Japan, and so I'm pretty proud of that. That's cool. It, I, I can't see the gold. It, my, it's probably my glasses. Yeah, but it looks. It, I wish I mean, it was platinum. Well, you know what? God, gold is I, amazing. You know what? You have you have more gold records yeah. than I have because I have zero. <laughs> right. It took some time. I mean, it takes time because you know you, the units got to sell and they got to catalog them. They got to they got to go to that. What is that called? Um, let me look. R I A A. R I A A. Yeah, they got to go to that and 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 register it and all that stuff. And then nowadays with downloads, you those counts towards it so you can count your downloads and and then you find all your spotify's and all that so before you know it you gotta hit i think you gotta hit a million is it a million or half a million i don't know it, it used to be a million i think they changed five hundred thousand so it's five hundred thousand so you That's gotta hit that number and then uh, you get a little plaque on your wall and then then you're literally golden yeah you get a plaque on your wall and That's um when it falls and breaks you put it in your closet <laughs> Chris, do you have YouTube up? Uh, I don't have anything else, Bruce. Do you? No, I was wondering if you had YouTube. Oh, you want to do some comments? Yeah. If you got a second, we're going to do some YouTube comments for you. I, I, I have YouTube up. Okay. When does the tour start? Yeah, does it cool. start shortly? Okay. So I always pick the funniest we comment. You know, we, we just have offers right now, so we don't have anything. We haven't accepted any offers yet, but they're good ones. Okay, good. Sorry, okay. I'm, I have a delay. Uh, I always ahead, pick the stupidest comment to read. <laughs> I always pick the stupidest comment to read just to get you to react to it. So this one is from somebody named, it says, trending adult porn videos only. And then it says it that same thing in about four different languages. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not sure what I'm supposed to make of this. On our on our on our video? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Let's turn into uh uh the vampire porn, I guess. Yeah, I guess. That's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I was just it's like, really oh, on our right. site, huh? Oh my god. That sucks. People are hey, it, it happens. You know. I always <laughs> just read stuff like that. But one of the better ones is absolutely amazing. Can't wait to hear the whole album. Congrats to all cool. four devil horns. Devil horns. Or they're four using their feet. Or they're using their feet too. <laughs> hey man, if somebody can make devil horns with their feet, <laughs> they better go on America's Got Talent right, right now. Right. <laughs> it's, great. it's hilarious. That's nice. That's great. Did uh, did we miss anything? That's you cool. Wanted to cover? Glad people are digging it. You know that's cool. I mean, I. Um, the album I believe drops the twenty third of September, and it's called um, "Build the Beautiful" on Deco Deco Records. Um, I think there's there's a pre order going right now. If you just go to Deco site, you can just go in and find um, "Scream Taker" on there, and then just there's pre orders. The cool bundle they got where um, a t shirt, like a really cool book that comes with it, with all the credits in it. And then, of course, the CD. Um, and then I, I guess the next step is we're putting it out on vinyl, but I guess the vinyl's manufacturers are backed up, so we're waiting on that. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So that's coming. Um, that's cool. Yeah. The, listen, the packaging's amazing. Uh, the guy who did the covers, uh, Jeff DeBerry, he did the artwork for it, and Lee Stokes did all the um, – he did the cover, Jeff DeBerry, but Lee Stokes did all the artwork for it. And it's artwork is really cool, old school, like – you know, an old Iron Maiden Dio type album oh, cover. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's really like sci-fi looking cover. It's really cool. Um, so I'm really excited about seeing. I haven't seen. I just seen like the the making of it. I haven't seen the actual finished product yet. But um, I'm excited to get that in my hands. I can't wait. To see that. That's awesome. Me that too. Comes out. Yeah, September 23rd. That'll be out. Um, we might put another video out before that to just kind of tease people to go buy the record because it's that cool of a record to be honest with you um i'm pretty proud of it there's a song called burning flame that's like a really cool hook to it that it probably will, will be like a b-side like it wouldn't be the song that most people will like because they're like it won't be this bigger song but me personally it's my favorite on it, you know so it's i just it's one of those songs that i think it's just a really well written song oh i can't wait to check it out man yeah did they send you? Did the label send you guys uh, the the link at DPK? No, all I have is uh, uh, give me Stone Cold. Me, okay, send me you guys. Send me your email at the end of this, and uh, I'll send you the the whole record. Oh, sweet. There's a couple songs oh. in there. You're, yeah, you'll dig. There's a couple songs. Um, one called Broke, um, Chattered Mirror. It's really cool. That song's another cool concept song. Um, it's about a guy. Not to get too waste your guys' time on oh, this, please. but um, it's about a guy who was like trapped in a mirror somehow got trapped in the mirror and over centuries just had to see different things this mirror like traveled and people would own this mirror or whatever and um oh i got it okay cool. i'll send it to you um and he would like see different you know ages different centuries pass by of different crazy shit you know bad things and good things whatever and then finally the mirror shatters and he like he can escape it he escapes it in the modern time like oh. oh my god I, like this is crazy that's what the song's about and if you listen to words are really clever i think i mean I, I took my time writing it usually when i write songs it's whatever comes to me this one i actually sat down and said i really want this one clever you know? oh, i can't wait to check it out man yeah that's awesome i need some cartoons for this afternoon i'll send it to so you guys this is gonna right be now. great I'll send it to you guys uh you guys will dig it yeah chris you email me so i don't have to forward it to you okay one second yeah. here. throw it in there and then i'll i'll uh, send you guys the whole record Good. I can't wait to listen to it. You know, I'm an old school fan, like you know, of that kind of stuff too. And I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. For sure. Thanks you guys for having me on. It's uh you guys keep rocking your show. Chris, you got anything oh, else? Always. Okay. Thank you, my friend, so much. You got it. Thank you guys for having us on. Good luck with the record. Be safe. Anytime, man. Yeah, cool. And I'll send that over to you guys right now. Awesome. And nice let back. us know if you're touring around too. Because so we're we both in New York, around. Long Island or we're both I'm in, in DC. Oh, you! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We um, we we will be coming through that. that I'm way. in Richmond. He's in Northern Virginia. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll be definitely coming that way. Cool. So, uh, cool. Uh, 
Now you guys are you guys on Facebook and all that? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Tag, find me on Facebook and tag tag this on there, and we'll promote it. Perfect. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Perfect. And when you get here you in guys, town, you owe us a beer. Got it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Sorry. Great meeting you guys, man. You guys too, awesome. man. Nice talking to you, my friend. Take Do care. It again. All right. Be well. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye. Cheers.